Hi guys, it's Kaylee and today I wanted to share with you a special craft for the holidays and it is one of my favorite DIY crafts I've ever done for Christmas time. As you probably know, I am a huge Sailor Moon fan. So I made these special DIY Christmas ornaments um, in Sailor Moon theme for my Christmas tree and I just thought I would share them with you guys. They're really glittery and fun and they're not too difficult to make and you can even like get a group of your friends together and have like an ornament making party. I think that would be really fun. So yeah, let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to need is some ornaments to decorate. Um, I would recommend getting plastic or non-shatter ornaments. These are glass. I mainly got them just because they're nice and matte already. And you're going to need some gold craft paint, some gold craft paint pens. These are the kind that I got. I just got all of these from Michaels. And you are going to need some like little scrapbooking jewels and some glitter. This is really nice glitter I got on sale for about $10. You're going to need a bowl for dipping your ornaments in the glitter. I have my Clifford the Big Red Dog bowl. And you are going to need another bowl for um, just putting your paint or a plate or something. I have a big fluffy brush for painting my ornaments. And I have a more tapered detail brush for doing the gold details. And this is the paint I'm using. It's just some craft paint that I happen to have on hand. But any kind of acrylic paint should be fine. And then I'm just going to take my ornament I want to paint and I'm going to go ahead and gently remove the hanging part, I don't know what that's called, and I'm just going to start painting my ornament. And I just kind of like to stick my finger in the hole in the top and just work around it as I paint, but if you really don't want to get your hands dirty, obviously you can wear gloves or you can even... Um, place the ornament on a dowel or something while you paint it. And remember to put your brush in your water so your brush doesn't dry with paint in it. And now, since I'm doing a Jupiter ornament, I'm going to take the green glitter and I'm just going to sprinkle some in the bowl. And once again, I'm just going to take my ornament, put my finger in the hole, and I'm just going to sprinkle that glitter all over the paint. And the paint sort of acts like glue, just like attaching that glitter to the ornament and if you don't want to mess with the paint you can also just use glue but I prefer to use paint just because it kind of um, cleverly hides any areas that you might happen to miss with the glitter. And then you can gently hold the ornament and put the top part back on and then I just kind of like to look it over in any areas where it's like got gaps. I will just fill in with some extra glitter and gently pat on to make sure it's secure. And then I used um, a pant hanger from my closet to hang the ornaments on when they dry and it works pretty well. I was pretty happy with it. Yeah. And then this is my scary basement at night, sorry, but I used some Krylon Crystal Clear um, setting spray and I just gave all my drying ornaments a good spray down with that just to ensure that the glitter stays on there pretty well and doesn't flake off too much. And for the next step, I'm just going to make a little star stencil. And I'm just doing this on regular paper and I'm going to cut it out. So I have my little star stencil and I'm just going to put it right on my ornament and for this I'm going to use my gold paint pen. And I'm basically just recreating the top part of these scouts, the Sailor Scouts transformation wands. So I'm going to make it a star 
with their little personal planet symbols inside. And I'm just carefully placing the stencil and stenciling around it. If you're more professional than me, you could tape it or you could tape it down or something, but I just like to YOLO it. And then you're going to connect each of the inner edges of the star to create a circle. And then I'm just going to fill in every point of the star around the circle with the gold paint pen. And this part is optional, but I just like to do it. And you'll get something like this. And then I like to just take my gold paint pen and draw in the scout symbol in the center of the star. There are tons of guides online that will tell you what each of the symbols looks like. And then I just go ahead and paint in the symbol and the outer part of the star with the gold craft paint. Just to kind of help it really stand out against the glitter on the ornament. And then once again, I just hang it up to dry on my pant hanger. So this is what the ornament looks like after it's all nice and dry. And now I'm going to show you how to do the Sailor Moon brooch ornament because it is a little bit special and different because it is imitating Sailor Moon's brooch. So first of all, you're just going to stencil a star on your ornament yet again. And this time we're going to draw a big circle connecting each of the outer points of the star as well as having the circle on the inside of the star's points. So I sketched the outer circle, now I'm just doing the inner circle. And you're going to do a like crescent moon shape facing upward on the inside. Once again, you can look up what Sailor Moon's brooch looks like if you don't know. And then I'm just going to fill in the inner crescent moon shape and each of the points of the stars. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my gold craft paint and just paint all of the gold areas of the brooch. And I'm finally going to take those little gems and stick them in the places they're supposed to go for the brooch. So there's red and at the top, blue on the bottom, and green and yellow on the sides. And once the gold paint has dried, I'm going to go back in with my puffy gold paint and I'm just going to kind of help that center crescent moon piece like kind of stand out more. So I'm just going to trace over it with the puffy paint and then just kind of smooth it out but still leave it pretty 3D. So we're left with kind of um, that crescent moon on Sailor Moon's brooch. And these are the finished ornaments. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and liked the ornaments. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, of course I wanted to make outer scouts but I just ran out of ornaments. I didn't have quite enough to do all of the sailor scouts so I will probably getting, be getting more ornaments and doing more for next year. So you know don't worry about that. It's not that I have a prejudice against the outer scouts. Like a lot of people the outer scouts are actually my favorites. If you happen to make any of these ornaments, tag me on Instagram. I'm Rex on there. I would love to see um, your pictures of your ornaments on your tree or wherever. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I hope you have a very happy holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate or don't celebrate. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you here as part of my coven of beautiful spoopies. 
And yeah, so take care and have a safe holiday season, you guys. Never forget that you are beautiful just the way you are and to always be yourself. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.